my zoom. Hey everybody, it's 6 a.m. here at Bardi Saib. We got up early to exercise and before we started, we wanted to let you know a little bit about our journey up here. We'll let you know more about Bardi Saib in our next vlog, but for now, you can see behind us we're in the Himalayan foothills. It's just a beautiful place. You know what else is beautiful here? The weather. Bardi Saib is only a nice 80 to 90 degrees at its hottest point in the day. But Punjab, uh, I think it's gonna be around 100 to 110 and even more at some points. So now to our journey. We made our way here via Patiala and Chandigarh. We left Delhi at 3 in the morning and stopped at a daba. A roadside restaurant. There, Chris had his first aloo paratha. A fried flatbread stuffed with potato and onion. He also had some day with it. Yogurt. Which was absolutely fantastic. Let me stop you there, Angad. The food was delicious, but it was not good. Not good. Not good for his stomach. It was fine for me, but cute Pepto video here. <sighs> My first thing of Pepto. Probably the first of many. Anga told me it was safe to eat the yogurt. And I told him it wasn't, but that I ate it anyway. This is the result. Correction, that's half the result. The other half of the result we left out there. It was about a four hour drive uh, to Patiala where we met with Dr. Gyan Singh from Punjabi University. There he gave us a brief intro to the economic state of Punjab. We think we're gonna make a second stop to visit with uh, Dr. Gyan Singh later in our trip because he was really helpful and really knows a lot about Punjab. Afterwards, um, it's about an hour to Chandigarh where we met one of our good family friends, uh, Mr. Sukhvinder Singh. He's the head of Vismad Films, an animation studio that makes videos for Sikh kids. He showed us around and we really got to see what an animation studio looks like from the inside, all the way from the pre-production to the post. After that, he invited us back to his house where we were supposed to have some dinner. I had some fantastic Indian food, about six different dishes. I kind of just fell asleep. Their family is really hospitable and generous. After a good about five hours of rest, we were ready to hit the road again. The last stage of our trip saw us come up the mountain here to Badu Saib. Uh, it was a beautiful winding mountain road. So we've been here a couple days now. Thankfully, I'm feeling a lot better. We're gonna be here for just a few more days before we head back to Punjab. Look out for our next vlog, the third entry, where we'll talk to you more about Badu Saab and what we're doing here. Uh, that's all for now, though. We have to get to exercising. So until next time, Satsuri Akal. Akal. Let's go in a crisis, always